there's not that much interest in actual fact-based truth right now. People want belief systems reinforced over and over again. But they, you know, and I'm not saying everyone, but many people, that's what they're looking for is to have their beliefs reinforced, not to be given factual information. Well, that's true. And that kind of tribalism, which is what I consider, you know, actually has the perverse effect of um, damaging the very causes that, that, you know, the tribe supposedly believes in, you know, like the, the martyrization of Matt Shepard, you know, I, I guess it was kind of a fundraising boon for gay rights organizations. Yeah. But as, as you point out in your book, you demonstrate, you know, with, with really um, devastating clarity that the crystal meth problem has been a serious problem for the gay community in particular. Uh, the true story of Matt Shepard, which you tell, sheds light on that problem. Uh, but, but those interests are not, inter are not interested in going there because it kind of threatens their revenue stream. W would you say that's a fair statement? I've never tried to say something that's negative about Matthew Shepard, the victim of a murder, okay? What really troubles me is this mythic American innocence we have, this attachment, we need a fair-haired, blonde, vulnerable young man, okay? And we need to have him hanging on a fence, okay? To look at what the real, the real story is here, both what motive, you know, what was behind the violence. And let me just say this personally about meth and about drugs, okay? When I learned about crystal meth, you know, and I really did, did my homework, I was, I was horrified, okay? Because I'm a survivor of the AIDS era. I lost dozens of friends and colleagues, okay, who died really young. And when I saw what crystal meth was doing in the gay community, okay, and that there were higher rates of HIV transmission with people that were regular users of crystal meth, and that's because of what this drug is. It makes you feel all powerful. You can do anything. People having sex without protection. I, I was really concerned that we were, we were on the cusp of another epidemic. I just, I felt that that was one reason that I was really compelled to spend the time I did on this story because I realized you guys are being victimized here, but you're not all being victimized by one thing. It's not all about homophobia. There's something else going on here. And I think, I think Andrew Sullivan said it really very clearly in his introduction is that what we missed at the time was that the Matthew Shepard story, okay, it's about the fact that there was a meth crisis moving through rural America, okay, and there was a meth crisis moving through the gay community at the same time. And this story is, is how they met. Those two crises met in Laramie, Wyoming.